आर यू फ्लाइंग टू कैनेडा हैव यू सबमिटेड योर ट्रैवल एंड क्वारंटाइन प्लान यूजिंग अराइव कैन इफ नॉट मेक श्योर यू डू दैट हेलो एवरी वन होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल आई प्रोवाइड इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट इमिग्रेट टू कैनेडा एंड हेल्प पीपल टू अप्लाई फॉर कैनेडा इमिग्रेशन बाय दम सेल्फ विदाउट एन एजेंट विच कैन सेव दैम अलॉट्स ऑफ मनी विदाउट अ फर्दर डिले लेट्स स्टार्ट टूडेज वीडियो Canada has declared new requirements for travel to Canada started on February 21st. You must meet the new testing and quarantine requirements when coming to Canada otherwise you can have a big hassle. Along with other requirements you have to submit your travel and quarantine plan using Arrive Can app before boarding your flight to Canada. Let's go on my computer screen to have a look at how to submit your plan using Arrive Can app. Go on Google and type here cic.gc.ca. Click on Canada.ca here. Go down Flying to Canada Requirement Checklist and click on Arrive Can to submit your travel information here. So you can use Arrive Can is available or to download as a mobile app. or you can create an account and sign in in online so if you want to create an account you need you can just use your email address and a password there and sign in on your computer or you can use your mobile phone just log in in your just download an app install it and log in in that click on here go through this information here click on next and here you can log in in arrive can with your email address and password on login and it will take you on the first step for entry into canada travel form so you need to choose one option here here entry by air land and marine so we will choose entry by air here and then you can go through this all requirements just read them and say i acknowledge and click on next have you or any travel listed in the submission tested positive for covid-19 on a sample collected between 14 and 19 days before the scheduled departure of your flight into canada say no and click on next again i acknowledge and next exempt traveler so if you are exempt traveler you can say yes otherwise no so i will just show you what is yes here so if you say yes it says please indicate that type of exempt travel you are performing on this trip so if you are one of them you can say yes otherwise say no so when you say no you can choose here purpose of your travel so suppose i will choose study international student and click next you need to full, fill all the information where you are landing so suppose i will go toronto international airport here flight air canada flight number so i am writing all this fake information here and date maybe i will say 19th of March time I will choose maybe this one and next so here you need to fill your document type if you are on your mobile you can just scan your document and it will take all the information by by itself what I will go just write the information here india and then document number so whatever your passport number here i will just type anything here sorry and your surname and your first name and your date of birth so maybe i'll go with 19 sorry is to international students is too much so i need to 2000 
month is four and date is maybe 19 and go next so here you can go through all the information if you want to add it something you can add it and if you are traveling two or three people together from one household you can say add another traveler here so i'll go next so here you need to enter your phone number so primary phone number type you need to write here so maybe mobile number and i will write So write a phone number which they can contact you when you are in Canada. It could be your mobile number too. So secondary phone number, you can give your home number where are you going after that. So again, and your email address so it's already here and what is your official language of choice English and click on next so let's complete your quarantine plan questionnaire so they will ask some question is same on mobile so click on next do you have accommodation where you can quarantine for next 14 days or possibly longer so say yes you cannot say no because you have to have your plan before you board your flight from there can you avoid all contact with other people in household with whom you did not travel and have no guests so say yes and next will you have access to the necessity of life like including water food medication heat without leaving your quarantine say so yes and next and are there at risk people at the location where you plan to quarantine like 65 year old or um, underlying medical condition or compromised immune system so you need to say no here you can't go on this kind of place and say next essential workers is there a person at the location where you plan to quarantine who works or assist in a facility so if there is an essential worker like healthcare professional just sport workers so read this all you cannot quarantine on the place where these people live because they have to go on their work every day with people so say no and next is your place of quarantine a group of living environment so you have to have quarantine alone or you can just quarantine with the family member who is coming with you but you cannot go in group of people so say no and next have you and the travel listed in this submission pre-booked and prepaid for the three night of a government approved hotel so say yes you need to do that and you need to provide your booking confirmation number here so maybe this is my number and say next what is the full address of the place you and travel listed in the submission plan to quarantine so select your destination type so are you returning your own, own home if you are an international student or foreign worker or coming first time where you are staying with any friend or family somewhere or hotel or others so i will say maybe staying with friend or family if you are coming first time you need to provide an address so suppose i am writing I'm sorry if is if this is someone's address I just selecting it for education purpose so I just selected a fake address here and say next are you or any of the travel listed on this form experiencing any of the following symptoms so fever or cough or fever or difficult breathing so say no if you have this say yes but otherwise no next this is your receipt which you need to show prior to boarding your flight and to the border services officer upon entry and this is it will also be emailed you emailed to you and you can print here so that's how you can use your arrive can app best of luck guys welcome to canada if you like my video give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe it and press the bell icon for more informative videos thank you so much for watching this video